<laughs> Did you forget well, where you were? Well, the punch of cold. Yes. Well, maybe. you know, I mean, the next several days anyway will be a lot warmer. We're not going to see the cold air we saw this morning for the next week. It is going to warm up a bit next week, but the nights will still be cool, and there's always time for more cold air, even in April. These were the record low temperatures this morning, down to 22 degrees in Newark, uh, 22 in Islip, 23 at both LaGuardia and JFK. So a very cold morning, a very cold March morning indeed, but pretty nice recovery this afternoon with highs in the low to mid 50s, although Islip was a little cooler at 39. Central Park at 43. And the wind gusts were down today, as we expected. Uh, we had 20 to 30 mile per hour gusts today versus the 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts from yesterday. So much better on that front. And tonight will not be as cold. It'll be a lot better. Uh, warmer tomorrow, too, in the 50s with a few showers. But the worst of the rain is coming this weekend. A complete washout starting Saturday afternoon. Continuing to Sunday morning. The worst of it will be Saturday night. And we're talking quite a bit of heavy rain that could result in flooding around the tri-state. Right now, the models are projecting anywhere from one to three inches of rain across the area. Might even see some isolated amounts of up to four inches, especially along the Jersey Shore and some of the higher elevations out towards eastern Long Island. So we'll be watching that and tracking that all weekend long. In the meantime, right now we're just tracking some high clouds moving in overhead across the area. Our storm system will be gathering strength. It's going to come in two parts. This front, which is causing some severe weather, tornado watch in effect for western Missouri. Uh, that front comes through first, then it sort of stalls to our south, and then it bubbles back up to the north with moisture from the south. So tomorrow we'll get one front. That comes through with some lighter showers, and then uh, it's dry for Friday night into Saturday morning. And then look at the moisture bubble back up on Saturday. Tracking this for the next several days into the week. Weekend. By next week, you see, Rob, into the 50s to near 60. So we get a break from the cold. I say a break because you never know. You Back never know. <laughs> Janice, thanks. That Wednesday looks really that nice. It does look nice. Well, the things the dogs do. Huh? I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, they're funny. All right, so our weather today, uh, much improved from yesterday when we had all that wind that was just intense around the tri-state. We had some gusts today, but they were much lower, uh, the 20 to 30 mile per hour range. High clouds have been moving in most of the afternoon, but not causing any trouble at all. But we are keeping our eye on this system that's over the Midwest tonight. Tornado watch is in effect for portions of Missouri, and they've already had some reports. I've seen some tweets and reports from the Weather Service of possible tornadoes with a severe line moving through the area. Part of that front comes to us, not the severe side of it, but definitely some heavy rain. Also, it's going to tap into some moisture from the south, and that's going to make it even worse for us by Saturday night. In the meantime, we're watching the clouds roll by this evening. No major problems in store for us. Temperatures tomorrow will be a little bit milder into the 50s ahead of the first front that comes through. That will bring some light showers starting about 11 midday on Friday continuing on and off into the evening hours. So about a 12 hour stretch of some light showers here and there. No big thunderstorms or heavy rain is expected, but you may need to take an umbrella during the day. That moves on out. It clears out for Friday night, Saturday morning, but the front doesn't quite clear the coast. It sort of sits there and an area of low pressure will develop along that and we'll start to see all that moisture slide back to the north. Now this is where we're going to see the very heavy rain starting Saturday afternoon because it's going to be about a seven eight duration, hour duration of very heavy rain across the area. Setting up to the north and colder air will be some snow. So places like Rhinebeck and Poughkeepsie wouldn't be surprised if you get a little bit of light snow out of it, even Monticello. The rest of us, it's just all rain. Heavy rain will continue along the coast out towards Long Island on Sunday morning or like Saturday night, early Sunday morning. But by midday Sunday, the system is moving offshore and we could see two to three inches, maybe even four inches of rain in some cases. Right now, temperatures around the area are in the 30s and 40s so it's not that bad. D.C.'s in the 50s. It's near 60 in Louisville, and so that's some of the mild air that will be sliding our way for tomorrow and the next couple of days. So thickening clouds tonight. No rain yet. Temperatures are in the 30s generally tonight, so not too bad. Tomorrow's highs are in the mid-50s with some scattered light showers coming in with that front, but that won't be the worst of it. The heaviest will be Saturday. Saturday afternoon into early Sunday morning when we may get to the two to three inches of rain. Clearing out, though, for Monday, the Mets home opener with highs in the upper 50s, close to 60. So at least uh, the weather is going to clear up next week. So 
for tonight down to 37 degrees. It turns cloudy, but not as cold as the last few nights or even this morning when we had record lows. Tomorrow, there even could be flooding issues with all this rain coming up, and we'll keep you posted if any watches are going to be issued ahead of time to let you know how to prepare. Look at next week. Looks pretty nice. Guys, back to you. All right. You were talking about it getting warmer, so we're looking forward to that, but there's yes. also some moisture coming as yeah, well. Yeah, we have to deal with some really heavy rain coming our way over the weekend uh, that might result in flooding. We're talking maybe as much as three or four inches of rain. We still had to deal with that again with all the layers. Temperatures were in the 20s in Newark, Islip, JFK, and LaGuardia. All of these were records for the date. Now, for the next several days, the temperatures are going to be warmer, especially during the afternoon, but we'll have to deal with showers. Just some spotty ones in the area tomorrow, but the weekend, especially Saturday night into early Sunday, is a washout. We expect heavy rain that could result in that three to four inches I just talked about. Temperatures will be in the low 50s on Saturday. Sunday, it's still damp. All of the showers will be tapering off early in the morning. We might be able to salvage the latter half of Sunday. And the rainfall estimates from Future Tracker, one to maybe three inches of rain, and could be some isolated cases of up to four inches of rain by Saturday night. Here's a look at our storm system. It's several pieces now. We're seeing one side of it where we're getting the high clouds. This part of the system is creating severe weather and isolated tornadoes south of Columbia, Missouri. These red boxes are tornado watches in effect for parts of central Missouri west of St. Louis tonight. And we're not anticipating severe weather here, but we're going to see quite a bit of heavy rain with this storm system. Not tonight, though. It's quiet. We've got the high clouds overhead. We'll start to see some showers showing up tomorrow afternoon, just after 1 o'clock. These will be very, very light and very spotty. This is not the core of the system that's going to hit us hard. That's coming up Saturday afternoon, and we're talking about at least a 12-hour duration of possibly heavy rain. Look at all these yellows and oranges and reds coming through the area. It doesn't really taper off until the sunrise on Sunday. It might even see a bit of snow up around Tompkins Cove, but right now it's 45 degrees for you, 41 in Newburgh. Back to you. Great. Thank you very much. And Bruce Beck is straight ahead with sports. Bruce. Well, Chuck, Knicks fan.